Welcome back to my channel. It's Wit here again with another video. So today I'm going to be doing a tutorial using the new Norvina Volume 4 palette. As you guys know, <laughs> I love Norvina's palettes. Like, I love them. I have, I have, I got everything. I got all the big ones, the mini ones. And right now the mini ones are on sale, okay? They're normally 28 and I believe they're on sale on Sephora.com for $20. So if you want one, you can go ahead and grab you one. Anyways, you guys, I will be doing a giveaway. And if you want to know what it is, you got to wait till the end of the video. So you got to watch the whole video. I'm going to know some of you guys are going to skip. Please don't. Please watch the whole video. If you're not going to at least sit there and actively watch it, at least just let it play, okay? If you're messing up my watch time, just at least do me the favor of just like, just letting it loop if you don't even want to watch it, okay? It still helps. But anyways, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram if you're not following me. Make sure you like the video, subscribe if you're not yet subscribed, and let's go ahead and jump right on into this video. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and get started. As usual, I have my brows partially filled in. I have my eyes primed. I did use, today I did something a little different. I took the MAC, their Pro Longwear Concealer. I'm in the shade NC45. Well, this I took the shade NC45. And then the ABH eyeshadow primer. I used this first and then this, just to kind of tone down um, how white that concealer can be. And then this is a prime example as to why I don't like this concealer on my eyes, because they're already creasing. <sighs> if this look doesn't come out the way I want to, I know it's because of that. Hmm. Okay, anyways. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and jump on into the Norvina Volume 4. I'm so excited. Like, I would say out of all of her palettes, between this one and the Volume 1, it's probably my favorite, but that's because you guys know I love pink. This is what it looks like. It is so freaking pretty. And like, honestly, oh, let me bend it this way because y'all can see the pigment. Yes. The camera does not really do it justice. Like. This is something that you have to see in person to just really understand the beauty of it. I love it, okay? I'm gonna jump into this shade first. This is E1, and I love that she doesn't sit up here and name all of these, like, just, I like the E1, D2 type thing. And I'm just gonna put this in my crease. So how have y'all been, hmm? Let me tell you how I have been, okay? Um, so I play The Sims 4, yes, I'm a simmer, and oh, I've been pissed off. Like, the past week has just pissed me off. Like, I have not been the same since June 2nd. Why? Because on June 3rd, EA decided to do a patch update to the game, and anybody who's like a gamer knows that when it comes to update time, it can be very scary, especially if you play with mods and CC like I do, because The Sims 4 is boring without it. I cannot play vanilla, like, I just, I need my Sims, I need my mods, I need it all, okay? So, um, yeah, I have not been able to play because pretty much my game is broken. Um, I tried, um, you know, taking my mods out, um, taking my CC out, and, you know, putting it back in, it wasn't working in the sense of, like, when I try to load the game, Obviously one of my files is corrupted, which happens when you update the game. They break everything. I updated everything, everything. And I was finally just doing everything one at a time to find out what it was. And then it said my video card is not being recognized on my laptop that I play on. Um, then after that issue, none of my saved games are appearing. So I just got pissed. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna just leave this alone. I think they need to do another update because it did an emergency patch update and everyone's game well most people's games are still botched so yeah that's been what's going on like i just i just want to play my video game now i'm gonna jump in using the same brush i'm gonna go into the shade e5 and it is like this hot pink it is the brightest pink in this palette i wouldn't even say hot pink like a neon pink yeah neon pink and i'm just gonna put this here don't disappoint me. <gasps> I have so many colors like this already, like so many neon pinks, but I just can't get enough. <sighs> it's so pretty. But anyways, I wanna talk about a more serious um, matter. Obviously what's going on in the world right now. 2020 has just been a very 
a very interesting year, okay? I feel like it all started going downhill. Well, let me not say downhill because you know what? This year, I still claim it to be great. It's still gonna bring out something great. But I feel like things just started kind of going a little south with the passing of Kobe Bryant. And then I believe the following month, Pop Smoke passed away. And then in March, quarantine became a thing. We all went into lockdown. Um, and then we finally, well, not everyone, but most places are trying to let people back out. Um, I'm one of those places I live in, Houston. And they allowed us to go back outside, kind of, sort of, you know, with still some social distancing. And then we had protests. So we were literally locked down. And then when we came out of lockdown, um, police officers wanted to continue their crazy ass behavior. Not all of them, but the ones that don't know how to to deal with people, which I don't understand, like, if you're so scared, why are you a police officer? I don't understand, like, when they say, I felt, you know, threatened or blah, blah, blah. How do you feel threatened when you have a whole belt, a whole arsenal of ammunition to use against us, and I ain't got no type of gun, no nothing, you have all that, like, what are you so scared of? What are you afraid of? Like. So all that happened and here we are now and it's still going on and honestly It's just pissing me off and this time around it feels so different. I feel like we've protested in the past You know, we've said the black lives matter. We said all that but this time around I feel like It's different in the sense that I really believe that this is probably gonna go on for a while and truly some sort of change Is going to happen it has to happen. Like, we cannot continue living like this. Like, we cannot continue on with police having such <sighs> unnecessary force and not being reprimanded for it. Like, just going scot-free while someone lost their life, um, families lost their loved one due to just unnecessary force. And then also, a lot of people have just been, like, it's been a lot of support, but also some people who are just talking crazy. Not only, like, talking crazy, like, there's people who aren't, I wouldn't even say they're racist, but they're ignorant. But, like, they don't realize that you, you just, you're just ignorant because you don't know any better. And that has been honestly annoying. Getting on Instagram has been very, very frustrating. Like, I cannot stand getting on Instagram for too long because, like, yeah, you will see a lot of things and support, and then you will see some ignorant things. I posted this on my story. I was so pissed. Like, when I say I was so upset, I'm gonna put the screenshot. I'm gonna put it right here. It reads, so it's a girl, she po she reposted something that someone said that was very ignorant. And she was just like, oh, lost for words. This girl who I went to school with just put this on her story. This was right after I posted about white girls who like black men being quiet about what's going on. And the girl who was being very just insensitive and just like, what's like, not even insensitive, insensitive, ignorant, dumb, just stupid, said this. I'm sick of people expecting white girls who like black boys to talk about political crap. We don't care about what's going on in America. Just because I sleep with black guys doesn't make me Martin Luther King. And what's wrong with wanting mixed race children? They aren't black, so my sister has mixed children and she's not posting about this. I don't, I don't understand how a white woman sleeps with a black man. They have children, but the kid isn't black. Baby, you need to go back to biology class. You need to go back and understand genetics. You need to go back and understand genes. You need to go back and understand dominant recess. You need to just go back to school because you're dumb. You're dumb. How does that make sense? How you have sex with a, how you have a child with a black person, but the child that you have is not black. And so what made me mad about this stupid, let me, let me, let me be doing my eyeshadow as I go because we'll sit up here and be talking forever. What made me so pissed about, actually, hold on, wait. Wait, what am I doing right now? I think this is blended to the way that I kind of like, like. So I'm gonna pause on this and I'm gonna go into another brush and I'm gonna go into the shade E4, which is right next to E5. It's like a darker plum type, I, I don't know. It's some color, I can't even, can't even color describe right now because I'm so upset by that. I, shouldn't I feel like people, I don't know what's wrong with them, but I feel like people don't take things seriously until it actually affects them. And I don't think they realize that when you have mixed children, they can come out my color or darker. Like it can come in all shades. Like, I mean, 
just because you have sex with a black man does not mean your child's gonna come out light skinned black. Like, they can come out deeper complected and it's not until your child is now the target of police brutality. Is that when you are, you're gonna care? Hmm? Like, it was such a ignorant comment. I don't know if this color is deep enough the way I want it to be. I'm gonna actually jump into the Norvina volume um, one because it has more like deeper purples in there. It should, yeah. I'm gonna jump in here and I'm gonna go into the shade A3. I just need something a little bit deeper. But anyways, like it was just such a stupid, stupid, stupid comment. Um, and I was so angry. I was so upset. I was just like, what the, like what is wrong with y'all? Like y'all are sick in the head. Like the fact that, oh, we don't care about what's going on. Like, I don't know, I feel like people just don't have sympathy like for other people because it's not affecting them. Kind of like with the whole coronavirus. Hence why people are still not following rules, not social distancing because they have not been affected by it or no one around them has been affected by it. So to them, it's not really real because it hasn't really hit them. And it's just like, or I mean, I don't want it to hit any, I mean, I don't want anybody to get sick, but it's because they haven't faced it. It's not really real and be, with these, racist or not even people who are racist but like just like i said ignorant people because this has never been an issue for them it doesn't seem real like it's real okay last night i was trying to watch um i was watching the django i couldn't even watch the whole movie and i don't know why i attempted to i cannot stand watching movies that are about racism slavery i cannot i couldn't even watch a whole movie like it they piss me off and i have you ever watched something and you'd be mad at the entire white race it's like bruh <laughs> i need to not watch this because not all of them are guilty of the foolishness of some of them so i just try to stay away from that stuff i try not to be on social media for too long like instagram because you just start to see a bunch of ignorant things and it just it, it makes me so mad it infuriates me you know i had a vision of what i was going to do with this eyeshadow but now it's, it's not really manifesting the way that i thought it was going to manifest hold on let me put more pink because this purple here got too high up mm -hmm. and actually what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this brush here my favorite brush i'm going to take this and i'm going to go into a3 from the volume one and i'm going to stipple this here just to kind of build up a little bit more pigment because my other brush is like kind of like fluffing it out but yeah what are you guys thought on that stupid um you know insta story on that um insta story and then also um what are your thoughts about what's going on how do you feel so what i'm gonna do next is i'm gonna cut my crease but i'm gonna cut the whole thing we're gonna see how that's gonna look i have a vision in mind but right now I don't know. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my freaking goodness, you guys. Woo! Like, let me tell you how God works, okay? So I haven't really been like too heavy on Instagram lately just cause, I don't know, I've been working and like, I just don't like to be on there for too long. But, hold on, let me cut my crease and then I'm coming back to talk to y'all cause I can't talk to you. <clears throat> okay, so crease is cut. But anyways, like I was saying, you guys. So I was on Instagram yesterday, even though I'm beginning there like that, right? And hold on, let me. I, I gotta, I gotta do this as I go. I'm gonna go into the shade A2, A2. Okay. I had one on Trend Moods page, and I was looking at her post of like, you know, she was talking about different um, black-owned makeup brands that we could shop with, and I had saw their color drain. Um, and I saw their Safari palette picture. And it reminded me like, oh yeah, let me go check and see when they're gonna be releasing that palette again because I know that they were supposed to release it in May, but then we had lockdown. So like, she was like, yeah, it's not gonna be May, it's gonna be pushed back. So I was like, okay, well now it's June. So let me see. And so I go on her page, lo and behold, it's releasing on June 12th. Today is now June 8th. I saw that on June 7th. Is today June 8th or is it June 9th? Today is June 9th when I'm filming this, and I saw that on June 8th yesterday. Y'all, if I would have missed the launch of that palette, when I say I would have cried, not not just cried, but I would have cried fresh, hot tears. You know, have you guys ever had, cried and it's like the tears are hot? Like they would have been steamy. I got so lucky. So yeah, you guys, it's releasing on Friday, and I already have my um, alarm set and everything. And I'm hoping I get my hands on that palette because like I really want it. And honestly, I'm mad that I skipped out on it in the first place, but I saw it, I was just like, mm, I don't know. And then Jackie Ina did a video with it. 
I was like, dang, I should have got it, but then it was gone. And then she did another video earlier this year, and I think that's what triggered, um, I forget her name, but the owner of Colored Rain. Um, dang, I forgot her name. But yeah, I think that's what kind of like triggered her, because everybody was like, literally, can you please bring it back one more time, blah, blah, blah. And so she's going to, and she's one of those brands where she says it's limited edition, bruh, she be for real. Like, she not really finna bring it back, so I know, like, <laughs> If I don't get it this time around, like, I'm never gonna see that again, like, which I don't know why it's limited edition. If anything, it should be permanent. Or at least, like, those, the top shades that people, like, you know, kind of always, like, asking for, make them singles, you know? All right, so yeah, I just put this all over, and it looks hella harsh, but it is what it is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blend some stuff together. But I feel like I always end up doing a certain style and I don't want to do that today. Okay, so I'm going to go back into the volume four and I'm, I'm not trying to like, you know how I normally like to bring like that. I'm not trying to do that. I just want to add a little bit more color here. I guess what I'm doing is just softening up the edge, but I don't want this. I don't want this to get too far in like this color it usually always stops here. I want it to be as far wide as I have it out. All right, guys, so I did go off camera and I did do a wing and I used the ABH Jet Liner. And then for my lashes, I have on the AliExpress Lash in the style 5D 80s. Um, I will have these linked down below. And I will also have the link to my AliExpress Lash Haul. If you wanna see other styles, I did do a haul where I tried on 12 pairs of AliExpress lashes. And these are just amazing. They're only like $2 and some change. I do wanna apply some glitter and I really wanna apply the E3 glitter cause it looks so pretty. This one right here. So these two are pressed glitters and I wanna put that one on. So starting off, you wanna get a glitter adhesive. I don't like to apply pressed glitter straight on. I know some brands will try to sell it that way. I just like to have reinforcement. Alrighty, this looks really pretty. I kind, kind of, I like the purple that I have here, but I almost want it to be lighter, if that makes sense. I'm gonna go into the A1 shade, this color right here. And we are done with this eye look for now. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face. I'm gonna do it on camera, but I'm gonna just kinda like, speed through it or cut through it. But I'll let you guys know what I'm using. I'm gonna be using the, ah, we're gonna be using the ABH foundation. You guys, I finally, finally, finally got my hands on this. Okay, let me talk about this. So I did get this, if I work for it, if you guys don't know, and we get this thing called gratis where we get free makeup. Um, they give us free makeup, right? So we were able to pick our colors, but I picked the wrong shade because at the time when Anastasia released her new foundation, I'm gonna put this on as I talk, when she released her new foundations, all the deep shades pretty much weren't in stock. And so I wasn't able to like look. And if you've ever been into Sephora, I didn't put on a primer. It doesn't matter because I'm not going anywhere. Um, if you've ever been into a Sephora, sometimes the lighting is tricky in there. So when I saw 490, it looked super light. So I was just like, oh, I know I'm not that shade. So I didn't even bother picking those up. I was like, oh, I think I'm gonna be something deeper. So I just went with 520. 520 is not my color. Like, so I ended up giving it away to my friend. So the reason I'm excited because Right now, um, brands sometimes give employees extra discounts like on a certain product or like their entire line every now and then. And ABH, she gives an extra discount. Then y'all know Sephora started a new rewards program where you're able to actually get cash off with your Beauty Insider points. I never use my points, I never want any of that stuff. So I was able to, with my discount, with the cash, I only pay $7.69 for this foundation and it's normally $38.
Hey guys, so this is the completed look. Thank you guys so much for staying tuned to the end. Now, let's go ahead and jump into what you guys also are here for. So, I will be giving you guys one of these. So, one of you guys will be able to win a brand new Norvino Volume 4. I got two, got me one. I was like, you know what, I gotta get my subscriber something, you know? All right, so to enter the giveaway, First, you have to make sure you like the video, make sure you are subscribed to me, make sure you go ahead and follow me on Instagram at askwhitney, and then you're gonna leave a comment down below. The comment is going to contain you just letting me know how life has been with all that's going on, whether it has changed drastically for you or if it's still the same, like girl, you know, I just suck at home, but like, I'm, I mean, everything's so good. And how this whole, all the protests, everything, just what is life like for you now? How are you coping? How are you dealing? Just know I'm always praying for you guys. I love you guys so much. And also in that comment, make sure you leave me your Instagram handle so I can actually reach out to you if you are chosen as a winner. Um, so yeah, so I can get your information and address and whatnot so I can send you this palette. It's real simple, that's how you enter. Make sure you like the video. <laughs> I'm literally saying everything, but yeah. Make sure you like the video. I mean, if you don't wanna enter the giveaway, at least like the video, um, you know, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, the usual, the usual, usual spiel, you know? And until next time, I'll talk to you beauties later. Bye.